In this video, I'm going to show you how I turn basic images of my product that look like this and turn these images into fully animated AI videos that look something like this. So some of the scenes that you saw in that video were 100% AI generated, meaning that I didn't pay a single human being to be able to record any of those scenes. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how we can use this software to generate high converting video ads that you can actually run on Facebook and TikTok ads. So let's get straight into it. So real quick, before we get into everything, I wanted to quickly show you some proof of how powerful using AI generated videos are right now for e-commerce. So in the last seven days, one of my stores has already done $38,000. And this was by testing some video ads of my existing product. And this was just by simply utilizing AI to generate all of my new creatives. And if you still have some doubts that this actually works, here's one store that I actually ran across, which is called Maya Apparel. And you can see this video here is purely AI generated. I mean, every single scene that we see here does not look real to me. For example, this model right here, I can just tell because I work with AI a lot. I know that this model was definitely AI generated and there's just something about some of the scenes in this video that just look a little too perfect and definitely something that AI would have made. But overall, after running into this video, it really piqued my interest and made me realize the potential that's out there when you actually generate a full-blown AI generated video with your own product. And we can clearly see this store found success with it because they got around 500K views. So I know it definitely helped them to make some sales for their shirt that they were selling. That being said, let me show you the full process on how I was able to generate the AI ad that I showed you in the beginning of this video. So of course, it all starts out with the product. So the product that you guys saw was really just based on this cozy lounge set for women. And I initially found this product when I was doing a lot of research through Manea one day. And this was something that was really going viral, I think pretty much every single year. So obviously right now it's summer, so it's not something I would really sell right now. But I thought this was the perfect opportunity opportunity to kind of demonstrate how I make my AI ads and how you can kind of do the same with your own products. So the way this process is going to work is that we're going to find still images of our product that show it in the most clear way possible. Then we're going to upload those images into ChatGPT, which is going to help us create all of the scenes that we need for our video ad. And then we're going to use ChatGPT to help us create all the video prompts that we're going to input into Clean AI, which again is the software that's going to turn all of our images into life. So I know that's a lot of information at once, but I promise you, just stick with me here. I'm gonna run you through everything A to Z. So because my product right here has a really clear image, what I'm gonna do is just take a screenshot of this cozy set. Then we're gonna head over to ChatGPT. Then you're gonna click on Explore GPTs because I've created a personal GPT that's going to help you design everything that you need in this video. And this is really just to make your guys' life much easier. So in the search bar, you just wanna type in Tay's AI Ecom Video Expert, just like this and you should be able to find my GPT. And then you're gonna go ahead and click on start chat. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drag over that screenshot that I just took. Then I'm just gonna type the following, help me make a Facebook ad based on this product. Then it's gonna ask me a few questions such as how long I want the video to be. Then it's also gonna ask how you want the model to look like when it starts to generate the scenes for our product. Now, if you have zero clue what your target demographic looks like, no worries because we can still use ChatGPT to help us figure that out for us. So I'm just gonna say, I want the video to be in 15 seconds. Choose the target demographic for me. And then now we wait for the results. And as you can see, it chose the entire demographic for us and laid everything out about how the model is going to look like in our photos. And then as we scroll down further, it's basically giving an entire shot list of every single scene that should be present in our video. And the way that this works is that it's going to give us an image prompt to be able to bring all of these different shots into life. So for example, shot number one is going to be our hook shot shot and this GBT already gave us a full image prompt that we can simply copy and paste into a new chat GBT window to be able to create this image. So what I'm going to do is simply copy this entire prompt, open a brand new chat GBT window, and I would recommend switching your model to GPT 4.0. This is available with the standard $20 a month plan, but I do believe you can still generate images just by using the free plan. Then I'm going to drag over the image of my product once again, and then I'm going to paste in the prompt that was created from my GPT here. And then we press enter and then we just wait to see what image it's able to create for the first scene in our video. So here's the result.
results for the first image, which I think looks pretty good in my opinion. And after you generate your first image, you can just go back into the chat GPT and then just copy and paste the next prompt until you end up with all of these images here, which is gonna be perfect and what we can use to create a full Facebook ad. Now do keep in mind that all of these prompts that are generated with my GPT is not 100% perfect. And it's really just meant to give you a solid foundation for the scenes that you can use in your video in case you don't really have a clue what scenes you wanted in your video in the first place. And if you wanna get the best results possible, I would also recommend trying to find some inspiration from other successful brands in your niche and pay attention to some of the scenes and the shots that they're using in their videos and then use ChatGPT to recreate that for your own product. For example, I use Manea to find this ad which had really good engagement, which is telling me that this type of ad style was working for this brand called Eula Very Official. And then if we click here to see the full Facebook ad, we can see that it's very simple. And what I liked about this ad is that it was pretty eye-catching and something that I would probably want to use as a hook for my own video. And then what I can do from here is simply take a screenshot of this scene and then open a brand new window of ChatGPT. I'm gonna drag over the image of my product and then also the screenshot that I just took. And then I quickly wrote out this prompt, which is basically asking ChatGPT to recreate the exact photo of the person holding the hanger, but replacing the product with my own. And here's the results it was able to create for me, which I think looks really good. And here's a quick preview of how this looks like when I animate the video with Kling, which I'm gonna show you how to do in just a few moments. And to quickly show you another example, I also ran across this viral ad on Manea. And it's basically just this super dynamic video of this girl putting on the clothes and showing different features. But I specifically like this scene right here where she's just brushing her hand on her sleeve, which is something that I also want to do for my own product. So again, what I can do is just take a screenshot of this scene right here and then upload that image as well as my product image like before and then ask ChatGPT to recreate that image. And now we have another image that we can use as a scene in our video, which could then end up looking like this. So again, I hope that gives you an idea of how you can use some of the prompts that are generated with my GPT to get you some of the scenes that you could potentially use for your video, as well as using tools like Manea to help you find inspiration from brands with proven shots and scenes that you can also recreate for your final video ad. And in case you want to use Manea for your own creative research, I'll leave a link down below so that you can try it out. Just one final quick tip that will help you find even more creatives is by using their Creative Finder tool and then uploading an image of your product. This way you can have access to all of the other competitors who are running ads for your same product. And you can also use some of the content here for your own inspiration. All right, so once you've generated all of the images that you needed, whether it was through my GPT or by taking inspo from other ads, the next thing that we need to do is animate every single one of these images so that we can create our final video ad. So in order to do that, we need to use Kling AI. I'll leave a link down below in the description so that you can get a free trial. Once you're inside the platform, you should be given some free credits that you can use to generate your first few videos completely for free. Then from here, we're gonna click on video. Then you wanna make sure you're in the image to video tab. And this is where we need to upload the images that we generated from ChatGPT, as well as a prompt that's going to give direction to Kling on how we want our video to look like based on that image. Now, me personally, I'm pretty bad at writing video prompts. So instead of taking 10 hours trying to decide how I want my video to look like, and probably end up with bad results, it's better to just work smarter and not harder. So let's go back over to my GPT, which is what we use to generate all of our image prompts in the beginning. Then you wanna upload all the images that you generated from ChatGPT earlier. Then I'm going to say create clean video prompts based on these shots. And as you can see, it just generated all of the prompts that we can easily copy and paste directly into Kling. So keep in mind that these prompts are generated in the exact order that you upload your photos. So because this flat lay image of our product is the first photo, this is the first prompt that it generated for us. So now I'm gonna go back into Kling, then drag over that flat lay image of my product, then go back here and then copy the entire prompt, then paste it down below here. And if you want, you can pause this video so that you can quickly read what this prompt looks like. But overall, you can see that it's very descriptive. It's giving details details like how the camera should be moving and how it should look like, all of the colors and the lighting of the video, and basically a whole bunch of things that any average person would never be able to think of, but it's totally fine because we have ChatGPT to do everything for us. So after pasting in the prompt, you have a few more things that you can adjust. So you can choose whether you want this scene to be five or 10 seconds long. You can choose the amount of outputs that you want. So if you want four different variations, you can select four, but do keep in mind that the more outputs that you have, the more credits that you're going to use on your account. And personally,
personally, I always stick to one output so that I can get an idea of how the video looks like. And if I need to make further edits, then I can keep generating more videos from there. Then over here, you have the option to select standard or professional quality. Now this is only available if you upgrade to a paid plan. And in my personal opinion, if you wanna get the best results possible, I would strongly recommend upgrading to a paid plan so that all of your videos look as realistic as possible. But because I am on a free account right now, just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna switch it to standard. Then lastly, you have a dropdown up top where you can select different models. So Clean 2.0 is their newest model, which gives you the highest quality and the most accurate videos ever. But it is going to cost a hundred credits if you wanna use this model. But if that's a little bit too much, you can stick to Clean 1.6, which can still get you pretty good results. So once everything is set up here, we're gonna go ahead and click on generate. And now we're just gonna to need to wait for the video to generate. And this is how the results turn out. So it's obviously nothing crazy. And it just looks like I'm filming with my iPhone over the outfit and just kind of slowly moving it, which makes it great to add as a B-roll clip in our final video ad, which you will see later on in this video. So what I just showed you is basically exactly what I did to generate every single scene that I used for my video. And now I just wanted to give you more of a behind the scenes look on how I created everything. So before recording this video, obviously I had to create a video ad that I needed to show you guys. And this was one of the images that I generated and I practically built my entire video ad based on just this shot. And one tip that I wanna give you is that you can actually tell ChatGPT to help you create more scenes based on one single image. So for example, when I was talking to ChatGPT to help me create video prompts for all of my scenes, I went ahead and just uploaded that image, but I told them to create five clean prompts based on just this shot. And here's all the different prompts that it was able to create out of just that single image. And then what I did is I simply copied the very first prompt that it gave me. Then I went over to Kling and I uploaded that image of my product. I selected Kling 2.0 as my model because I wanted the highest quality results possible. And then I pasted that exact same prompt. And then I chose a duration of 10 seconds for my video. And this is exactly how the video turned out. So it basically just animated the girl, gave her really natural movements, but then it also zoomed into her shorts so that she can kind of stretch it a little bit to kind of highlight the details and the fabrics of this clothing set. And then after creating that video, I went back over to ChatGPT, then I simply copied prompt number two, and then I re-uploaded my photo and then pasted in that prompt. And here's how that second video looked like for me. So instead of her naturally posing, she actually put on the cardigan over her shoulders and she's now stretching it to show a different quality and detail of this product. And again, it was pretty much rinse and repeat from here. I took prompt number three, I copied that, went back over to Kling, and this is the example of what it created out of the third prompt. So she's basically just posing kind of like an OOTD type of style, just simply showcasing the outfit and showing it off. And here's just one last example of another scene that I created out of that image. And this time she's just kind of running her hand across the sleeve to kind of show how soft the fabric is. So this technique of creating multiple scenes out of just one image is also something that you can do straight out of my GPT. So if for whatever reason, you don't like some of the video prompts that they generate from all the images that you uploaded, then what you can do instead is just upload one single image, ask the GPT to create five clean video prompts based on just this image. And it's gonna be able to do exactly like what I just showed you guys with my image. So aside from generating most of the footage that I needed based on this image, I also wanna show you how I created the hook of my video using this image that I showed you guys earlier and also this other flat lay image that I had for my product. So inside of the GPT, I just uploaded the image of this hanger shot and then I just told them to create a clean prompt but explain a little bit of context on what I want out of it because again, I'm trying to recreate this effect that I saw from this advertiser where she kind of just twists the hanger in a really quick fashion and here's the exact prompt that it was able to create for me. Then like before, I just uploaded that image into Clean. I used Clean 2.0 for this and then I pasted in that exact prompt and here's exactly how the video look like. So you can see she's actually twisting it exactly like the video. However, there was an issue right here where it shows the back of the clothes twice, but no worries because we can use this scene right here where it starts off from the back before revealing the front of the clothing set like this. And then to generate another scene that kind of highlights the clothing set in a more natural setting. Again, I just used ChatGPT to help me generate this image and the video prompt. And this is pretty much how it looks like. So it's just a simple overhead shot with a little bit of sun glare that really just makes this perfect to use as a call to action scene at the end of my video. And then once I was satisfied with all the videos that I generated, then I simply clicked over here to download all of my videos. And then I used CapCut to piece all of the footage together and added a few captions and some music. But keep in mind that some of these captions that I use is really not the best, but this is really just for demonstration purposes. And that being said, let me show you the full result with the captions and some music added in the background.
So as you can see, the video ad was pretty simple and these are generally the type of ad styles that do work for fashion related products. But I think the most mind blowing part of it all is the fact that everything was 100% AI generated and the model in that video wasn't even real. Now I can see this being a really good use case, especially for those who don't have the ability to outsource to other creators and other actors, which can become really expensive in order to shoot a lot of the scenes that you need for your video ads. And the fact that Kling is able to make a lot of these scenes look extremely high quality and realistic for just a fraction of the cost, I can only imagine how game changing this is going to be, especially for e-commerce. So if you wanna be one step ahead of your competition, I would strongly recommend getting into AI video right now and start learning how to implement this for your own businesses. As a quick disclaimer, definitely make sure the videos that you do generate actually look exactly like the product that you're selling because the last thing that you wanna do is mislead all of your customers. And again, I'm just showing you guys this purely for educational purposes and you just have to make sure that you're using this responsibly. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to this channel and also join my free Discord group as well if you wanna be connected with other like-minded entrepreneurs who are also doing e-commerce and dropshipping. And also follow me on Twitter as well as I plan to be more active on that platform and share more tips and tricks on how I'm using AI for all of my e-com stores. And with all that being said, I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.